fiction novel, and then uh, also a uh, video producer aspiring, and with a degree from Ohio University, and uh, an artist, actually a very talented artist with um, a lot of pencil uh, drawings and uh, colors and 3D effects. It's really interesting. I've seen many of them, and boy, you'll have to check them out, audience. Uh, but let's get to the uh, show. Bang! <laughs> Hi, how are you? All right, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm glad to have you on the show. Uh, thanks, thanks for inviting me. First on the appearance show. on political theater. How does, yes. it, how does it feel? Uh, it feels like my show already. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So let's dive into the show. Um, well, I was just wondering your alternate realities book here. It's it's quite a trip. Literally on the front cover, even well, when you first buy it. Wow. I don't I mean, want people to just think of it as look. just you know. So, just trippy or psychedelic. It's, it's, a, it's a philosophical science fiction novel. The, the, the painting on the, actually is based on a drawing I did when I was in Savannah College of Art and Design. Really? Um, if you could hold it. Just, yeah. It's a um, it's book, and then I went back and I didn't know, do the colors until later. Years later I, I drew the background. But it was originally done with fluorescent colors, which glow in a black light, and created you know, the whole you know, three-dimensional effect around that, which you can't really get through the cover because the printing companies don't necessarily always have the capabilities of doing full fluorescent yeah, colors. it's the, not. The, the original why would they do that? That would be but expensive. For it would be to act, yeah, too expensive for me to read them before. But if you could see the original color scheme of the fluorescent yeah. paintings, they would create this. It's, it's, effect it's, it's actually below. it has what? more of like a different world feel. I mean, it's just like the body has different components, and like the shirt. Look how intricate. Like where shirts today are just plain and and. Yeah. Cut of the mill. This is just a, it's a, it's a whole other world. It looks like where well, that's just me being artistic. colors are just vibrant and like what if it was that way, you know, kind of thing. And it's kind of a you know, surrealistic expressionist art. I mean, I, that's just me being artistic. We we're supposed yeah. to draw a student. I was a student in a class at the time that was sitting next to me. I just sketched it, black and white sketch, and I went back and paint. Didn't do the painting, the elaborate design, on, on the rest of the background until years later, actually. I was working, you know, with fluorescent paints in the black light, just on my own. How do you feel that? Um, how do you feel that you get out your? What's the best way for you to get out your uh, creative ideas, or is it more of you like all three video production, well, poetry, a, and writing? 
equally or what's your what's your main that's passion? That's a good question. Or... My main passion is art. That's why I keep talking about how I think that artists should have a legitimate career in the society with benefits just like lawyers or police officers or any other profession but artists you know don't necessarily get paid like a salary or have regular jobs and if I had the full time to devote to my art you know, I could create better artwork. If artists could live longer and have a better lifestyle yeah. and they could get paid for it then and have a benefit and career then we would have better art. It would enrich culture. Mm -hmm. and that's trying to ha how I'm trying to improve society and get society. To now, more what more do you think is the benefit? Now, many people would say, "What's the benefit of enriching culture?" Like, where do you see a world where a culture is enriched? Describe that out for me. I think well, you, you touch on that in, in your book and made in different ways. So I just want to hear from you on more, like, specifically... Like a utopian society. I would imagine one where people were allowed to use the best of their abilities to the advantage of improving society. You know, good, positive ideas to help society evolve philosophically, where people are allowed to be artists and get paid for what they do best, where there are people that are better at math, that are, they get, you know, they, they get better now, based on their, their technical abilities, where everyone's talent is, you know, utilized the best. Utilized. You can create a better society, you have better art, Culture can evolve with but more new ideas instead of just doing the so same So the money would still, I guess, I guess the money would always have to derive, though, from non-artistic. Well, because then people are paying for artistic because it's a pleasure thing for them? Is that it doesn't have it to be, be like a luxurious a pleasure thing. Art, and the more people money pay for it, the better art there, there, there will be. And it's not just, you know, artistic ideas. You can look at music as art. They call musicians artists. I mean, I, I want to well, combine people, all the people generally things. use that for pleasure. I mean, yeah, music is pleasure to, to human beings. You're right. I, I mean, it's just. I mean, I it should it be a sport. Be. It's so is sports, you know, and that's yeah. gets millions of dollars. I mean, it should be supported. Exactly. Like now, there we go. That's where it, it befuddles me that sports. And it, I used to be such a sports fan, and then. Like it just kind of said, I just kind of said to myself, you know, what is the purpose? There's no creativity in sports. Well, I mean, you know? it's an athletic. It's a different kind of you know, people who are good yeah. at athletics and, and and like that kind of thing should be paid to do that. Just like artists should be able to yeah. allow them to make a living at what they do best. Yeah, and it's just just uh, unfortunately we value some things more in society than others. And, you know, like it it just depends on what what skills society tends to support a lot of technological skills. It, it's, it, well, yeah, and... Whatever makes money is based on what's popular, I guess. Exactly. Is what keeps people down, you know? I mean, video, look, the most prevalent answer, I would say, for that, or the, one of the biggest things is, like, for example, Call of Duty. I mean, people just zone in their whole lives to Call well, if, of Duty. If I've good. seen so many people, you know. Are you talking about the video game? Yeah, video game. See, I don't really have time to play much video games. Cause I'm always working on my creative ideas. The yeah. ultimate goal for me is to be able to just do that full time, where I can go from writing to producing art and videos and and back and even recording music and a combination of that, like rotate between one day I'll work on my writing, another day I'll work on my mm -hmm. art, another day I'll work mm -hmm. on so that's video how production you, and, and music. That's how you channel your creative ideas out is in your free time. Well, yeah, and I have that creative freedom you, to do it on my own. full time? Well, yeah, I don't have as much time anymore because I have to do other things to compromise to pay the bills. Now, that's where the frustration comes in. And So what's the frustration? It's where kind do, of a do you work? Conflict of interest. I mean, I, I just work to pay the bills. It's not yeah. what I what I went to college for. Exactly. I went to college to be a, you know to condition to be an artist and to be a video producer and work on creative ideas, and that's what I'm I'm better at. So, um, but it just seems like to pay the bills and the compromise to do other things takes away time from what I could be doing, hmm. in improving my ideas. So, how do you think that society could progress in that way on a in a structural way? I th like, how could... There could be different colonies. The way I set it up in my book is there's like a colony for artists where that's what the monetary value is. You could trade art for a living instead of money. It's kind of like a barter system. And a colony for athletes. If all the athletes want to go to a colony, that would be their like currency almost. And then you could like trade in between colonies for different things. If someone grows up in like an artistic colony, they don't want to be an artist. They want to be an athlete. You send them to the athlete colony. But they're all a part of, a part of like the society where hmm. they collaborate and interact, they're not necessarily isolated from each other, separate but different. So it also could be set up in like a they city. They all contribute like... to the currency. Like the currency is based on the skills yeah. that people are, and that's, that's what you know, determines Reward the, basically the skills. monetary value and survival needs are met based on you know, people's skills and what, and what they're best. And as, you, know, you can take a whole different variety of classes. It can be set up almost like college. You know, but you know, not to the point where it makes you poor and they profit off of 
of the, uh, you know, your struggle is to the point where everyone should be, deserve to make a living, you know, equally. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to tell what people what to think either. And that, that's the important thing I want to say about this book. It, I show both sides of the story, both points of view, both contradictory points to, to ask the right questions so that people can make up their minds yeah. themselves. Nobody wants to be told what, what to think or how to live. Yeah, to I do. think that's the biggest problem nowadays is, you know, when people have creative ideas, they just try and ram them down everybody else's And I'm not exactly then, about that. I mean, you, you're welcome you know. to not buy my book or you can buy it if you want, but I mean, I do need to be supported to an extent. I don't want to be rich yeah. and greedy about it, but I do want to contribute. Well, to I'm just saying society. that people have views and then they, they think that those views are absolute. Well, people are different and they have different views, you know. I think people... Yeah. should realize that because it, it's true in life. Now, there's more factual-based views, which usually could be a, a view that would be more um, sound, you know? Yeah. Or based on things that are more rational.